Hey, welcome back friends. Today I'm getting back to doing a repair inside the house. I've had a problem with my oven here. The other night my wife said, hey, I think our oven's on fire, come check it out. And what happened was the bottom burner right here was like sparking and it looked like it was about ready to catch fire. What happened was this was arcing. The two ends like split and there was like a current going between them, like, a, like an arc welder. So I, we turned the oven off. So the one thing I tried doing is I threw some baking soda on it. That didn't really seem to help. Once we unplugged the oven, then it seemed to kind of fizzle out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna replace this right here. There's only one store in town that sells parts for appliances. And what's a little frustrating, this is like $45. Once you buy it, there is no guarantee. There's no returns. If there's an electrical problem with this, you can't return it. So. Uh, I believe I could get it on Amazon. There are some that uh, are right from GE. Some are from some other companies. And so it varies probably between like 20 and like 50 bucks. I did talk to a local guy that uh, I've, I've known for a long time that does appliance repair. He said before that starts to go out, you'll see like a red, a red spot that'll really start to glow bright red. So that would be a good sign to replace that. So now the oven is shut off, it's unplugged, and here's what I'm gonna do. Take the racks out. Hand them over here. My assistant Grayson, thank you. Okay, so on, uh, I, there are a couple other videos I watched just to see how they did it, and one I'd say I'm probably not quite as appealing to some, and that particular person went from the back, took that panel off. Another person I saw, Took those two screws out and just did it from the front, but make sure that you don't let those wires fall back into the insulation as you'll see. So the other ones, they had a quarter inch or they, they just had a regular Phillips bit. This one's a quarter inch. Yep, just little, little screws. All right, set those right there in the glass. And then when I'm all done, I'm going to run the self-cleaning on this, this oven. It's kind of embarrassing to have you see it this dirty. Where's the other one? Okay, so then this, let's just rest on there. So you pull this out. See how that, see that split? So I pull this through. Okay, here's, oh, this is interesting. There are three wires. This one looks like it's white or yellow. Oh, it's yellow, and that one's black. Okay, so those are, again, just a quarter inch. Here's the new part, hinged bake element. All right, so I'll put the yellow there, the two black on that one, just set it down. I'll probably then just vacuum the other stuff out once I install this. And this one is a Phillips, so I'm gonna have to grab a Phillips screwdriver mat. Okay, now we're in the put back mode. So I'm gonna just loosen these, take them, the screws right out completely. I'm probably blocking the camera a little bit with my arm. Just had to get started. Now the next screw. Just need to line these two up. Okay, I think I have it started. That's good. Okay, that's nice and snug. Now I just have these two screws to put in. There's all. Okay. 
Okay, so I believe that completes it. I'm just gonna vacuum up the baking powder. Grayson, will you grab the, or the baking soda? He's gonna grab the vacuum for me. Okay, so I'd say that's clean enough. I'll uh, finish cleaning that up a little bit later, but now we can at least plug it in and turn it on and see if it works. Okay, now the moment of truth, we're gonna turn it on. Okay. Oh yeah, feel the heat. Feel the heat already coming out of it. Oh, we got a little smoke. Hmm, that's interesting. So there must, oh, huh. That is really, uh, wow, that's quite a bit of smoke. There's probably just a light, well now it's starting to stop, it looks like. There's a light coating of oil, I would imagine, on it that just has the burn off. So that initial smoke appears to be done. I don't even smell it. Just sometimes new stuff has probably a, a coating on it that has to burn off, keep it from rusting. All right, now I can see it's starting to glow red. It's a good sign. Hope you find this video interesting, informative, and helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, so if you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends. Enjoy.